Hello designers and welcome back to part 3 of our on shape tutorial series where we'll be modeling the F1 car. In this part we will be designing the front fins, the rear fins and also adding wheels to our model. Now when this F1 block is put into the CNC machine, wheels are not included. So the model that you send for CNC machining will be this car body chassis with the fins only, not the wheels. In this video you will be learning how to create the fins using simple sketch tools and we'll be only using one plane to draw on. Alright, let's get started. Firstly, we'll be activating the plane that we want to use, and in this case, it is the front plane. So I'm going to unhide this plane. And as you can see, the front plane is right in the middle of our car. Why I choose this plane is if I draw on this plane, I can extrude the fin in both directions symmetrically. Let's see what that looks like right now. So I'm going to create a new sketch. I'm going to select this front plane that is going through the middle of my car. I'm going to change my view to front. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I will be using the circle tool first. Right here at the very front of the car will be my first circle. And this circle is going to be smaller than the second circle I draw. So it looks like this. Here's the first circle. I'm going to go back a little bit and create another circle that is slightly larger. And now I'm going to take the spline tool. I'm going to zoom in really close so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to hover over this circle and create a point at the very top of the circle. And with a few clicks, I'm going to create a curved line that curves up to the top of this circle. I'm going to make sure that the circle is highlighted and click once. I'm going to push escape or you can double click the outside. And I'm going to create another line starting from the bottom of the circle. Now as I do this spline tool, the shape of your fins is totally up to you and in this situation I'm just making a very basic fin shape. There's my last point so I'm going to push escape. We learned the trim tool so I'm going to take the trim tool and just delete these curves in the middle and I'm going to finish the sketch. Let's zoom out. I'm going to go to my home view and I'm going to extrude what I just drew. And it's difficult to select it because my car model is blocking it. So instead of clicking here, I'm going to click the sketch that is on this left menu instead. So as you can see, it's trying to extrude out from the center front plane. But instead of having it blind as it states here, I'm going to click this down arrow and choose symmetric. Now when I drag this arrow, it will pull out from both directions and the max distance that I can go is 65 which is the width of the block 65 mm and finally we want to make this a new object we don't want to add to the block if we click add it will fuse to our original model instead I want to have this as its own object so I'm going to choose new and then click the green check mark you know that you've created a new object because it's a different color so let's have a look at what we've done so this is a very basic front fin shape. It's got a slight curve up and that is intentional to cause the wind to go over the front tire creating that low pressure zone so that our front tires have good downward force onto the track. Let's repeat the process for the rear wing. New sketch. Choose the front plane. Change the view to front. I'm going to pan over here with control and right click. I'm going to zoom in right here and I'm going to start drawing my sketch. So circle tool. I'm going to create a small circle, a larger circle, spline tool, top of the circle. Let's give a nice clean curve up to this top of the circle, click, escape or double press, bottom of the circle, 
make sure that it's highlighted. And let's hit the bottom of this circle when it's highlighted. Escape, trim tool. Let's click these inner curves. Finish the sketch. Go back to home view. Extrude. Choose the sketch that you just created. Symmetric. 65 mm. And new object. Once you're happy with that, click the green check mark. So now we have a rear fin as well. Now the angles of these fins are very important and I've just drawn them quickly for demonstration purposes of how you would create these fins. Even the shape of the fins can be customized to your branding. For example, if I go to top view, I could create a new sketch on the top plane. So let's just unhide that. So if I draw additional sketches on the top plane, I can customize the overall shape of this wing too. Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to create a new sketch. Choose the top or floor plane. Take my spline tool. And I'm just going to freehand a unique shape for this fin. So let's say like that. Escape. Straight line tool. Let's close this shape. Let's draw a new mirror line right through the center here. Go to mirror, choose this mirror line, box select these entities. When you're happy, click the green check mark. Let's go back to home view, extrude, choose the two shapes. Set it to remove and pull these up. Then click the green check mark. So I've customized the shape a little bit. It has its own unique shape. You can go ahead and customize this however you like. You might have a specific shape for your team branding. You can get a lot of expression out of just modifying how these fins look. One very important thing to mention is for this rear fin, we've extruded it through the center of the car. So we have to check that this rear fin is not intersecting inside the canister. Otherwise, the gas canister won't be able to go inside this channel. Let's have a look by clicking right. And in my case, I'm good. I don't see any of this blue rear fin showing up inside my canister channel. So I'm clear. But let's just say that your rear fin is actually going through that cylinder channel and you need to make sure that that channel is clear. What we can do is we can select our rear fin here at the left menu under parts. Since we made it a new object, we can click part three and that selects our rear fin. And up at the top here, there is a tool called transform. So we're going to click transform right here. Now, there's different types of ways that we can transform this object. But in this case, we're going to click this drop down menu and we're going to say translate by X, Y, Z. So in this transform command, it's how we can move this object around 3D space. And translate means moving from one point to another point. So when we choose translate by X, Y, Z, we can see these arrows appear. And by dragging these arrows around, you can move this object. So I'm going to grab this Z arrow and I'm going to pull it down so that it's intentionally going through my cylinder. I'm going to click the green check mark. Now let's have a look. Oh no, it's going right through our cylinder. So we need to make this cut again. So I'm going to go back to home view, draw a sketch, click this face, change my view to right so I'm looking head on, and we're going to create the circle again going to go right here, hover over until you get the square. That's the center point. Enlarge this. I'm going to click once. And this was 18 mm. Finish the sketch. Come back to home view. Extrude. Choose that circle. Set it to remove. 
and it was 52 mm again. Just had to repeat this step like we did in part one. And we need to make sure that it's cutting through our part as well. So right now it's doing the same operation of cutting through our F1 block, but it doesn't really register this fin in the way. So we need to choose that part. So I'm going to click here in our left menu, part three. And that has also included part three down here in the extrude box. So let's click the check mark, go to right view. And as you can see, we've cut through the fin and now our channel is completely clear for the CO2 canister. Now in this next step, I'm going to create the tires and I'm going to place them and I'll show you how to use the front plane and the mirror command for 3D objects to create the tires. However, please take note, you need to look at the technical specifications uh, from the regulation book to make sure the distance between the tires is correct, the distance from the tires to the body is correct, and that the sizing for the tires is correct as well. Today I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of a tire, but there are precise measurements that you can find in the technical regulations handbook from Formula One in schools. Okay, having said that, we're going to start off by drawing on the front plane again. And notice how everything I do is from this front plane because it is perfectly in the middle of the car. That is why it was so important that our first step was to draw our car with a center rectangle just so that we could keep all these axes perfectly in the center. So when we do mirror commands, it all works. Okay, so I'm going to create a new sketch. I'm going to choose the front plane. I'm going to change my view to front and let's draw our first tire. So I'm going to choose the circle tool and I'm going to click once and roughly create a tire. For now I'm just going to put 22 mm. Once again the tires are just a representation. When we cut this on the CNC machine the tires are not included. Finish the sketch go to home view, extrude, click the circle or choose the sketch here on the left menu and extrude it by 16 mm. Before we click the green check mark make sure that you choose new. We want this as a new part. Okay since it's a new part we can choose the part which is part 4 here on the left menu Go to Transform. In the drop down menu, choose Translate by XYZ. And we're going to grab this arrow here, which represents either the X or the Y. And we're just going to drag the tire out. We're going to place it right here. I can't really see clearly how far it is from the car, so I'm going to change the view to top. Yeah, that's way too far. Let's pull it back in as close as possible and I'm going to move it forward a little bit. Notice that now we only see two arrows. That's because we are looking directly down. We cannot see the z-axis arrow. That looks pretty good to me, so I'm going to click the green check mark. Okay, since we're in the top view, let's stay here and let's mirror this entire 3D object. So far we've been mirroring sketches, so now we're going to mirror this object. It's really simple. We're going to choose part 4 here in the parts menu. That's the tire. I'm going to come up here to mirror. Click it once. And now in this mirror dialog box is asking for a plane or a line. Well, we already know that the front plane is directly in the middle of the car. So let's choose the front plane. I'm going to go to the left menu here and scroll back up to my original planes. And I'm going to choose front. So right here in mirror plane, you click it once and then you click front and it will change to front plane and look at that the tire just shows up exactly on the other side of the front plane so let's give that a green check mark let's go to home view and see what we have okay great I'm going to allow the right view to be seen right now because I'm going to use this as a mirror in a second so let's go back to top view and let's duplicate these tires to end up as our rear tires. So I'm going to choose part 4. Holding shift, I'm going to choose part 5 as well. So I held shift to select both of these. I'm going to choose mirror 
And for mirror plane, I'm just going to click it once and change it to right. And now we have the other two tires. They seem a little bit too far back right now, but we can move them separately. So click the new check mark. Always make sure it says new. We want all new objects. Let's choose part six and seven, the new two tires. Transform. Translate by XYZ. And let's pull this just a little bit in. Again, the distance between these tires is specified in the F1 technical regulations book. So please check that. Click the green check mark. And let's go to home view and see how that looks. So the tire is looking way too small, especially this back tire right here. So let's go back and edit the sketch for this part. Now these were duplicated and mirrored, so I just need to edit the original circle that I drew for the tire, which is sketch 12. So I'm going to come here to the left menu and choose sketch 12, right click and edit. And let's change the size of this circle. Uh, before I did 22, maybe I'm going to go up to 26. So in order to edit the dimension, we come up here to the dimension tool, zoom in, and let's change the sizing of this circle. And let's hover over the numbers here and double click and let's change this to 26 mm. It's better. So let's push the green check mark. And now all the tires have followed suit and they all are the same size. Let's hide our axes. And there you go. That's your car with the wheels. So you should by now know how to create the fins and create the tires, use mirror commands and use the front axis plane that goes right through the middle of the car to help you position all your objects. Please remember to always refer to the technical regulations to get the right sizing for all the parts and good luck!